What's good, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Today, I'm going to be doing Gemini's reading from August 31st to the 6th. Uh, if you're looking for a private reading, my information will be in the description box. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you'll find me at Lovely Soul Empress. As I stated, this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as for the Cross Watcher if you're dealing with a Gemini or someone who has that important placement. As always, I have prayed, shuffled, and meditated on the decks. I did get uh, two messages for you. Uh, the first one was religious factors. Your relationship is being affected by religion or a uh, spiritual path. I felt like it had something to do with the spiritual path, but we are going to look at that. And the other message was, um, let me lower this a little bit. The other message was, um, uh, our separation is necessary, um, is painful, but necessary. We need to work on ourselves individually. So you might be having conflict with somebody that doesn't necessarily have to be your uh, partner. Okay, so um, we're going to jump right in. If you've watched me before, you know I like to take jumpers. I'm doing something a little bit differently this week. I am taking Journey, uh, Journey of Your Soul card first. Spirit, can you just show me what's going on with Gemini? Um, from August 31st to the 6th spirit. Okay, so the first one you got was denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So you might be afraid to look at something right now or admit something to yourself or maybe somebody else is, okay? Um, and it's causing some type of anxiety in you. And also, you got the humor card, okay? I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So spirit is telling you not to take things so seriously at this time. All right. Um, you know, especially things that are not in your control. All right. So um, we're going to jump right in. Spirit, can you show me what you have for my Gemini gang? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to receive right now for their highest good spirit. For Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Important messages, August 31st through the um, uh, 6th of September, Spirit. Can you show me what you have for Gemini? Ever so grateful and humbled for the gifts and blessings. Please use me as your vessel, Spirit. Allow those benevolent uh, Spirit guides and ancestors to come through and speak to us regarding Gemini, Spirit. Most important messages they need to know right now. There you go. Thank you, Spirit. At the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles. That's the overall energy. Okay. So, Gemini, you have the Empress, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is at the heart of the matter. Then your partner has Justice, the Sun, and the Ace of Swords. We are going to jump right in and start to clarify. Spirit, why does Gemini have the Empress? Spirit, why does Gemini have the Empress? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why does Gemini have the Empress? Wow, okay. First off, I just told you we're um, clarifying the Empress, right? We're going to talk about what that means. But it's being clarified by the uh, Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit, right? And at the bottom of the deck, of this deck, is the Empress, okay? So a couple things. The Empress is Taurus or Libra. You could be dealing with a Taurus or Libra. But this also can signify being pregnant. You could be pregnant. You could be hearing that you're uh, going to be pregnant or somebody else that is around you is pregnant, right? But um, you also could be pregnant with a great idea because this is um, the mother of the world, uh, the mother of creativity. She's quite abundant, okay? Um, and then that's being clarified by uh, the Queen of Pentacles. This is also, this is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Now, to me, the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, they have similar energy. Not all the way, but um, the difference here is that this is usually a married individual. So I feel like, um, because this is a queen that is abundant, 
she is nurturing and loving she's very good with money and she's considered the quintessential wife so i feel like somebody views you as the empress okay uh the empress is the embodiment of all four queens so they're viewing you as the empress and they also see you as marriage material by that queen of pentacles being there okay they might have recognized this after they went into a uh, hermit mode okay this is the card of virgo see how this person is meditating and getting some type of download from the universe right in tune or you could be looking at somebody else as they are the empress because they're marriage material and you got that message while you were in um hermit mode but i feel like this is how the person is looking at you okay that's that's what i feel now you could be dealing with a virgo a taurus a libra okay uh let's move forward spirit why is the three of pentacles here for my uh gemini gang why is the three of pentacles here so the three of pentacles is talking about building a foundation working together right now you see that they're kind of standing in front of a magistrate, some type of judge. It's maybe an officiating a marriage or dissolving one, right? So I feel like um, there's some type of, um, at the foundation of this situation is some type of union, right? And that's being clarified by the seven of swords. So this person that you were building this foundation with um, they might have been deceptive, trying to win at any cost. Um, you know, they could have even been a thief, right? Deception, manipulation, thievery. Any of those things or any and all, right? And then that's being clarified by the King of Cups. So this is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, someone in that energy, this is a king who um, feels very deeply but doesn't like to um, wear his emotions on his sleeve. Maybe this person was holding back their feelings and that was the deception. I feel like that was part of it. I feel like they were holding it back from themselves with that hermit card there. Maybe they didn't want to admit what they really felt towards you. But, um, you know, with that illumination that the hermit is going through, they can't, um, they can't hide that, right? But this person might have treated you very unfairly, okay? Maybe it was in a, in a, in a way to um, deny what they really felt for you, even to themselves. That's what I'm really picking up because the King of Cups, he wears an emotional mask. He keeps um, what he's feeling to himself. So I feel like this person didn't even want to admit the importance that you had to themselves. And this caused them a tower moment. This is scorpionic energy. So when you see the tower, you know that something was built on a faulty foundation. And I feel like what it is, is that this person was trying to not succumb to um, this connection. That's what I'm picking up. Um, then you have the Ace of Pentacles next. Spirit, why is the Ace of Pentacles here for my Gemini gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? I knew that was going to come out. Okay. So the Ace of Pentacles is the seed for abundance. This could be the gift from the universe. This could be a large purchase. This could be... Um, somebody offering you their uh ace of pentacle uh this person could be offering it to you but i really feel like this is something that you were manifesting this ace of pentacles and the reason why i say that is because that's followed with the ten of pentacles so spirit is telling you you are going to reach achieve that ten of pentacles you are on your way and the reason why is because of the star i knew this was going to come out okay i had that feeling um the star is the card of Aquarius. This is um, the divine showing you favor. This is your prayers being answered. This is wish fulfillment. 
Um, I also feel like this person is now recognizing how uh, important you are to them. And I want you to look really good at this card. You see how she is connected to the divine. Okay? And I feel like that is why that Ten of Pentacles with the uh, Ace of Pentacles and the Star is telling you that uh, Spirit has your back and uh, your blessings are coming from the divine. I also feel like if you're in a long-term relationship, you see how there's more children in the back. Uh, this could be telling you that you're going to have another child with that Empress card. Okay, now we're going to go on to this Queen of Pentacles and why she's also here in the, in the um, heart of the matter because you had her in your first card that was describing you. Spirit, why is the Queen of Pentacles here at the heart of the matter, Spirit? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here at the heart of the matter? Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles is uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay, like I said, this is a very abundant queen. She has a lot of... Um, uh, she's very nurturing. She has wisdom. She's considered the quintessential wife. She's very good with money, right? Then that's being clarified with the Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups can have several different meanings, okay? This can mean an event coming up. This could mean a uh, celebration, celebrating with your friends. This also can mean a third party. As of yet, I don't see a third party. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the lovers, okay? So this is you, Gemini, okay? And then under that is the Ace of Cups, okay? So I really feel like this person wants to celebrate something with you, spirit. Why is the Three of Cups here with the Queen of Pentacles at the heart of the matter, Spirit? So, um, the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So, um, because this is, in the, this is the heart of the matter, I feel like you uh, want this person and they want you, right? And then this Three of Pentacles, this Three of Cups is talking about how you guys want to celebrate and coming together. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like the old cycle of uh, deception or whatever this person holding back their emotional feelings, that's, that's done with. That's done with. That's why the wheel is turning. Okay, that cycle is behind you. Now let's go to um, what they have here, which is the Justice card. Spirit, why is Justice here for Gemini's partner? Okay, so uh, Justice is talking, this is the card of Libra. This is talking about karma. This could be talking about legal justice. This could be talking about bringing balance to a situation. I feel like this person wants to bring balance to this situation because now they have the three of pentacles. And you see how that is a, a, like a street light, Okay. So I feel like before, you know, it was like um, blinking yellow or it would stop and then go, stop and then go, stop and then go. They want to put an end to that and they want to bring justice into this situation. But then that's being clarified by the four of cups. They feel like this could be a missed opportunity um, because um, they feel like maybe you um, won't accept this or they're afraid that you won't. Because maybe they drag their feet so long that they know that you're getting fed up and they think that uh, you, you might not, um, you might no longer be interested in this offer. And as I say that, the bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands. That's the 1111 card. That's the happy home, right? So they're hoping that they didn't miss the opportunity. Spirit, why is the sun here for my Gemini gang? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Let me get one more. Spirit, why is the sun here? Okay. 
So um, this is uh, Leo, the card of the sun. This is the happiest card in the deck. It also stands for ego. I feel like uh, this you make this you make this person happy, right? But that's being clarified by the devil. This is the card of Capricorn. Now you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I feel like this person was exhibiting some toxic behavior in the past. Okay. And you see in the corner, there's like a gentleman down there and, and he's uh, got a, a hood on and the devil is kind of pulling his strings. I feel like you felt like this person was a little bit controlling. But this person, um, they're waiting. Now, for some of you, this person, um, this son with this devil card is referring to how um, attracted they are to you. Okay, and um, they're waiting to see if you'll take them back. But for others of you, this has to do with, um, yes, they love you. But um, this devil could be waiting for this three of wands for your ships to come in because... It's obvious that you're going to be quite abundant and there's something about you that makes you special, a star. And it could be both. It could be that they love you, but they also are very impressed by your, um, your business savvy or your luck and good fortune when it comes to making money. So you need to be cautious with this person, but they do love you. That's not uh, the question. All right, let me get um, this Ace of Swords spirit. Why is the Ace of Swords here for my Gemini gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I see another card that is popped out. Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So that's their truth, okay? This is the truth and clarity. They really want this Ten of Cups, okay? They're kind of scared to tell you this. And then here's the Ace of Pentacles, Okay, so basically, uh, you know, they want to give you their seed too. They want to give you their seed too. So some of you, there, there's going to be another child involved. Yeah, so the Ace of Swords with the Ten of Cups and the Death and Rebirth. So they're going through a transformation. They feel like they have no choice because if not, they'll lose you. And there goes that Four of Wands again. All right, let's do this uh, Nine of Pentacles here as the overall energy. Spirit, why is the Nine of Pentacles here as the overall energy for my Gemini gang? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? So the Nine of Pentacles, this is... Um, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, okay, this is the minor arcana of the Empress, basically, so she's looking good, smelling good, feeling good, she's uh, got a very single energy, she's abundant, independent, she can do things on, on, uh, on her own, okay, and then that is being clarified by the Five of Cups, this person has a lot of regrets and remorse about how they treated you, Okay, and then that's being clarified by the sun. So they've gotten clarity uh, and illumination. Uh, they know that you make them happy. You have um, the Ten of Cups here. You have the sun. You have the Ten of Pentacles. The Empress. So I feel like this person wants to come into you. You could be dealing with a Leo too. But I feel like this person wants to come into you. And as I say that, at the bottom of the deck is the magician. They're manifesting the hell out of you right now. And then under that is the lovers, your card, okay? Um, and then under that is the three of swords. So they might have felt like um, what they did really hurt you. And uh, under that is the emperor, which is the pair to uh, that queen of pentacles. So this person really feels like they missed the boat. 
and they're trying to manifest coming uh, your way. Okay, uh, now I'm going to get uh, Manifest Your Soulmate card. Spirit, can you show me what would help Gemini manifest the best outcome they can for um, August 31st to uh, September 6th? Follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. So uh, Spirit is advising you to manifest the things that you want. Spirit is listening. I told you you had the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Star. The Spirit is telling you they are listening and they are here to help you. Spirit, can you show me what a Gemini's person is feeling but not saying? What is Gemini's person feeling but not saying? What is Gemini's person feeling but not saying anything else? I love you, kiss me. So basically, they want to come out of this separation or conflict that they had with you. Uh, they regret whatever uh, manipulation, deception they had going on that caused this tower. Them not being honest about how they felt about you, hiding it from themselves. Look at that, true love. That was what I was going to um, pull. Actually, I'm not going to take that one because it fell out so soon. But it's definitely true love, okay? Uh, Spirit, can you show me what Gemini feels for their person, Spirit? What does Gemini feel for their person? What does Gemini feel for their person? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So you want to come out of the separation too, okay? Spirit. Yeah, they want to express their love and deepen this connection with this getting to know each other. They, they feel like you're not trusting them right now. They see you in retreat, but they feel like uh, you deserve love and this could be the one. So they've got their eye on you. Uh, you know, it's like a bullseye target. They can't see anything else. They just want you. Spirit, what, um, what actions? So uh, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play in your life. So I feel like you um you are coming into your worth the empress knows her worth unquestionably okay and you're just sitting back and you see see the angels it's as if you're sitting with the angels right now and they're whispering in your ear like do not react let them come in spirit what actions will gemini's person be taking So the honeymoon card flipped over. So I feel like um, this person wants to go away with you. They think that if, if you guys went away, that maybe it could um, help you guys get on the same page. Yeah, because they want uh, forgiveness and learning. Okay, they want to learn from their mistakes. Um, and they know that you've either released them or they're afraid of being released. Okay. Spirit, what's the outcome for this situation for my Gemini gang? So there's a lot of chemistry. You are loving yourself first, okay? Like I said, as the Empress should, right? Uh, there's a lot of attraction here and romantic feelings. You do have to be careful that this person hasn't uh, omitted anything uh, upon their return, that they give you the whole truth and nothing but the truth, okay? And that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to pull some advice from Spirit. This person is coming back in. They've come to some realization, uh, they were hiding their feelings, I think, from themselves. Uh, they no longer want to do that. Yeah. You're being divinely guided. So spirit is whispering in your ear. I feel like you got this. Uh, this person's going to be coming into you. It's going to be up to you what you want to do. And I just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming to spend a little bit of time with me. And uh, if you're a new viewer and you felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you so, so very much. And I have some things coming up. Soon I'll be launching my website. And there's going to be a lot more things on there than just uh, readings. Okay, so looking forward to announcing that um, when it's up, okay? So I just wanna say uh, light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.